XRP Army, there are always some big, big stories to talk about with XRP. This one could be really, really big. A huge company may soon be integrated into the XRP wallet. And we're going to dive into all of those specifics in this video, guys. We're also going to take a look at the overall market right now as it relates to uh, XRP and where we are. We'll do that first, and then we'll get into this story because uh, I want to save the story for the end of the video. Make sure you guys stick around because there's a lot to get to with that huge, huge company we're going to talk about in this video. So take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market here uh, over on CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin actually uh, bouncing back here. We were down a couple percentage points here to start the morning. We are seeing a nice little reversal here. Bitcoin trying to get back up over 37,000. Ethereum still holding steady over 2,000. And uh, we've got XRP right there just below BNB right now. Also coming up here in the last hour. And uh, we do have some nice support level there. Uh, support levels there at 60 cents. We also got some support down there at 55 cents. Uh, under 60 cent XRP, though, to me, is a really good opportunity. So we'll be watching that closely. Uh, XRP right now sitting at a $32 billion market cap, uh, down about 3% in the last week here, uh, has just been relatively flat when it comes to the price action. But we have seen whales really hold the floor here. XRP billionaires and millionaires, people holding billions and millions of XRP, uh, have remained steady here in the last two months. That's always good to see. You've got a lot of the institutional money hanging in there, holding the line, if you will, holding the floor right now as uh, some of the retail money escapes uh, these markets right now. It has been kind of a boring cryptocurrency market here relatively in the last week or two, especially for XRP. But this story right here, definitely not boring. MasterCard may soon be integrated into the XRP wallet. So the founder of XRPL Labs and creator of the ZUM wallet has hinted at a coming update to see debit MasterCard integrated into the XRPL wallet ZUM. That's right. Uh, in a recent tweet, the founder of XRPL Labs, Wind, disclosed ongoing efforts to incorporate debit card functionality with the ZUM wallet. He said, that uh, they're working on this debit MasterCard self custody card authorization with custom on ledger limits on your account using a hook. Uh, this could be very, very interesting. And uh, this disclosure follows his uh, earlier comment about new functionality for the ZUM Tangem NFC hardware wallet cards. Wind also noted that new addition will allow users to pre fund their wallet card with $50 in XRP in addition to the account. Reserve. Now, will the debit card feature include charges? So let's take a look at this. Uh, somebody on X, John McLean, pleaded with the XRPL Labs founder that the debit card integration should not include the popular additional 1% fee that is normally associated with this. McLean uh, lament, uh, lamented, uh, lamented that the custody solution of the U.S. exchange uphold already charges a, a substantial fee for debt transactions. Uh, he also complained that additional fees can accumulate rapidly, leading to significant costs. Uh, and in response to this, Wynn did highlight the inherent nature of credit debit card involving fees, uh, which enabled features like insurance, cashback, and substantial revenue generation. He stated that those costs are covered by the fees charged, prompting the need for alternative solutions. Basically, the old way of doing things, there was a reason why they had those fees associated uh, in order to... Uh, get all these other things accomplished. Wynn believes establishing an entirely separate financial infrastructure proves advantageous uh, in the long run for XRP. So uh, we have seen some big stories like this, news stories like this with MasterCard uh, talking with XRP. You know, my stance is this, what we've seen in light of the Binance situation in BlackRock, and I mentioned this a little bit in some previous XRP videos, what we saw there was a big push by the U.S. government, because the way I look at BlackRock is basically a branch of the U.S. government. They came in and pushed Binance down a little bit and said, listen, you are not going to have the same impact that you once had in the previous crypto bull run. I also think they're doing something similar with XRP. There's a reason why they went after XRP in 2020. It's not because they singled them out because they're that bad of an actor or whatever. We know that they're not a security. XRP and Ripple have already won that case earlier back in July from the retail side of things. They went after Ripple for one reason. It's because their technology was flawless and they knew 
that in order for them not to proceed and take over things without their regulation in place, they had to get them in a pickle. And that's what happened. And Ripple Labs spent hundreds of millions of dollars to fight the good fight here the last three years and won. And now, basically, I think the Black Rocks of the world are going to come in and say, hey, thank you for stalling and delaying the inevitable here. Now we're going to find a way to work alongside Ripple and uh, great companies like this in the future. So I think it's really, really big in terms of, you know, what's really happening behind closed doors. And, and guys, I'm just speculating, right? I don't know for sure, but that's kind of my feeling around Ripple and XRP uh, here over the last couple of years. And I think as we get closer to this next crypto bull run, we're going to see the institutional money pour in to top assets like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like XRP. And I think uh, XRP is quickly going to overtake Binance again and uh, probably make a run uh, above, you know, the tethers of the world. Maybe even get back into that number three spot uh, up there or maybe even the second spot. Uh, it could happen, right? I, I think XRP is well positioned for that. So let me know what you guys think about this new uh, integration or possible integration with MasterCard. Let me know in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next video.